You're about to take a complete TOEFL speaking practice test and there's a few quick things you need to know before you start. The first thing is that you want to record your voice. If you don't record your voice, it's going to be very hard to grade your speaking. So you want to make sure that you try to grade your speaking. So get ready to record your voice. Fun, fun. The next thing you should know is that this is the latest update from TOEFL. They made an update on July 26, 2023, but the speaking really didn't change at all. So this is pretty much the same as it's been since 2019. After the questions finish, you will hear and see sample responses to each of the questions. So stick around to the end if you want to see a sample response for each. Also, you can download the 26 plus guide that will give you uh, tips and tricks and templates and strategies for each question type. And you can also download the PDF in the description that is the PDF version of this test. But that's about it. The last thing is that you should check out the TOEFL Emergency Premium course. If you have less than one month to prepare, this is perfect. We have study plans, two days, one week, two weeks, and one month. So no matter how much time you have in less than a month, everything you need is right there. So check out the TOEFL Emergency course. This is an offer only for the YouTube audience, but that's it. Thanks for listening. Good luck on your test and I will see you at the end. Directions. You will now be asked a question about a familiar topic. After you hear the question, you will have 15 seconds to plan your response and 45 seconds to speak. Would you prefer to work at one job your entire life or to switch jobs every five years? Explain your response with details and examples. You have 15 seconds to prepare your response. You may begin preparing now. You now have 45 seconds to speak. You may begin speaking now. Directions. You will now read a short passage and then listen to a conversation about the same topic. You will then be asked a question about the passages. After you hear the question, you will have 30 seconds to prepare your response and 60 seconds to speak. You have 45 seconds to read the passage below. You may begin reading now. Now listen to a conversation about the same topic. Hi, Peter. Did you hear they're going to make two graduation ceremonies this year? Yeah, they say it's due to enrollment numbers. Too many students getting their diplomas at once makes the ceremony last for hours. I really don't like that. What if some of my friends are assigned to a different ceremony than mine? We've been waiting for this day for years, and now what? Well, I mean, have you ever sat through the graduation ceremony? I went last year, and it lasted almost three hours. 
and it took almost an hour to just read the names. That's my point. Almost two hours of the ceremony consists of speeches. That's the real boring part. Why don't they limit the number of speakers? They could reduce the time of the ceremony over an hour if they just focused on the important people. Yeah, I guess you're right. But what about the auditorium? Each student is only allowed two invitations to the ceremony. But if they separate the events, then you can bring more of your family and friends. Don't you want more people to come? So why don't they just have the ceremony outside? Most universities have their graduation ceremonies outside. They are always in June when the weather is warm and it hardly ever rains. And of course, there's plenty of space on the great lawn in the quad. I don't know about you, but I would much rather graduate outside in the sun than in a stuffy auditorium. Now, answer the question. The woman expresses her opinion on the change to the graduation ceremony. State her opinion and explain the reason she gives for holding that opinion. You have 30 seconds to prepare your response. You may begin preparing now. You now have 60 seconds to speak. You may begin speaking now. Directions. You will now read a short passage and then listen to a lecture on the same topic. You will then be asked a question about the passages. After you hear the question, you will have 30 seconds to prepare your response and 60 seconds to speak. You have 45 seconds to read the passage below. You may begin reading now. Now listen to a lecture about this topic in a biology class. Okay, as I'm sure you gathered from the reading, swarm intelligence is kind of like one big decentralized brain. All of these individual brains come together to create one collective consciousness that everyone shares. These days, this type of intelligence is actually being used in the field of artificial intelligence but it was originally found in nature and many insects use it to create organized living systems. Take ants, for example. They will work together to find the shortest route to a food source and work together to carry it back to the nest. Now, how do they communicate? Well, the individual ants mark their route with their scent, also known as a pheromone. This scent, left by one individual ant, will be sensed and followed by other members of the colony. And the more ants that follow the same trail, the more pheromones they leave behind. 
the path turns into a kind of ant superhighway. Other possible routes no longer seem available to the colony since there is no pheromone trail for others to follow. A ants aren't the only insects that use swarm intelligence. Honeybees also utilize collective communication to organize masses of individuals. During adverse weather conditions, a thunderstorm for example, bees may lose their nest and must find a new home. However, it takes time to find an ideal location and build their new home. So, the queen bee will find a branch on a tree and send out pheromones that the worker bees follow. Once they find their queen, the worker bees will collect and press together, forming a kind of giant pine cone that could include up to 10,000 bees, if you can believe it. Now, there would be no way for a single bee to survive such weather if it was working by itself. Now, answer the question. Using the examples from the lecture, explain the concept of swarm intelligence. You have 30 seconds to prepare your response. You may begin preparing now. You now have 60 seconds to speak. You may begin speaking now. Directions. You will now listen to part of a lecture. You will then be asked a question about it. After you hear the question, you will have 20 seconds to prepare your response and 60 seconds to speak. Now listen to part of a lecture in an archaeology class. Preservation of archaeological artifacts for future generations is an important task. Although the deterioration of objects and materials is inevitable, Proper preservation can make the process much slower. Creating the ideal conditions in museums is extremely important because historical artifacts can be affected by various environmental factors. The most important are temperature and relative humidity. Maintaining a stable temperature in museums and storage centers is critical. The same temperature should be maintained every day, all day, and all night. Actually, a sudden change in temperature is more dangerous than having no climate control at all. Objects made from organic materials like paper, wood, or leather may wither and dry out if exposed to a sudden temperature fluctuation. Most museums maintain a temperature of between 68 and 72 degrees Fahrenheit, and it takes every possible step to ensure there is little to no variation. If, for example, a city loses power, Many museums have backup power sources to ensure that their interior temperature remains constant. Relative humidity, which is the amount of moisture in the air, could also have a negative effect on ancient artifacts. In metal objects, a high level of relative humidity could cause the object to corrode or develop mold. In contrast, low humidity could cause paper or leather to turn more brittle and fragile. Ideally, there should be a different level of humidity for different collections, depending on the material of the artifacts in question. Still, 
most museums set their humidity levels somewhere between 45 to 50 percent. Throughout most modern museums, sensors have been installed that monitor the amount of humidity in the air. Once the level of humidity changes by over 2 percent, the system takes action and adjusts its settings. Now, answer the question. Using points and examples from the talk, describe how museums preserve artifacts. You have 20 seconds to prepare your response. You may begin preparing now. You now have 60 seconds to speak. You may begin speaking now. To me, I definitely think that it is better to switch jobs every five years because old jobs get boring and new places are exciting. I remember when I worked at a school in New York, and at first, everything was new and interesting, but by the fifth year, I was tired of taking the same train to go to the same building every day. On top of that, starting a new job is a new opportunity. For example, after my job in New York, I moved to Japan and started teaching English to children which was completely different. It motivated me to learn and expand my knowledge. So, to sum up, if I had to choose, I would definitely opt for changing my job every five years. The reading passage announces a change on campus. In particular, the administration has decided to split the graduation ceremony into two separate events. Right off the bat, the woman makes it clear that she is against this idea. To start, she says that she wants to graduate with her friends. And if the ceremony is split, then they can't graduate together. She does admit that the graduation ceremony is too long right now, but it could be shortened by reducing the number of speakers. Secondly, she explains that the graduation event should be held outside rather than in the auditorium if the committee is concerned about space. Most other schools hold their graduation events outside, and there would be plenty of space for additional guests. As you can see, the woman in the listening clearly disagrees with this plan. According to the reading, swarm intelligence is when a bunch of different insects of the same species are able to combine and connect their thoughts so hundreds of individuals can think and act as one. In the lecture, the professor delves deeper into this subject by explaining that ants use this type of thinking when gathering food. One group of ants will find a way to the food source and release pheromones to mark the trail. Other ants will then follow the pheromone scent. He goes on to say that honeybees use this type of intelligence when looking for a new place to live. In fact, a queen bee might send out a pheromone that attracts thousands of other bees that come together and form a kind of temporary home where the bees can survive. So, after listening, I now have a better understanding of what swarm intelligence is.
The professor goes into a ton of detail about the preservation of artifacts in museums, which helps slow down the deterioration process of these ancient objects. After introducing the topic, the lecturer mentions that a stable temperature is key. Materials like paper and wood dry out easily if the temperature changes too drastically, which is why most museums keep the temperature between 68 to 72 degrees. Many museums even have backup power sources just in case they lose electricity so they can maintain the temperature. The professor goes on to say that the moisture in the air, otherwise known as relative humidity, must be carefully controlled. For metal objects, higher humidity levels could lead to corrosion. On the other hand, low humidity can make objects like paper more fragile. Most places housing artifacts keep the relative humidity between 45 to 50 percent. So after hearing this lecture, I now have a better understanding of how museums preserve their artifacts. Congratulations, you made it to the end. Topo speaking is tough. Recording your voice is tough. So if you did that, be proud of yourself and you graded yourself. Uh, I'm going to put a couple other links to some useful websites like My Speaking Score and Elsa, which uses some AI technology to grade your speaking. And also check out this video here, here somewhere, uh, where there are some example, more TOEFL speaking questions and example responses for you to learn from. But that's it. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.